Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Haven't shaved in a couple days, as you can tell, so really looking forward to this shave. Today I'm going to be looking at a couple of different things. The first up is right here. That's Noble Otter Barbar, their barbershop fragrance. And then for the BBS.Live Synthetic Brush Week, I'm going to be using my trusty Trafalgar T3. And last but not least, I'm really looking forward to this one. That is the Henson AL13 Aluminum Aggressive Razor. So that's the plus, plus, plus version. All right, talking about the Bar Bar specifically. So it is described as a sweet, spicy, and powdery classic sort of nostalgic barbershop. I can say that off the tub, it definitely smelled spicy to me. And, you know, it was offset certainly by some sweetness. So I would consider those initial descriptions spot on. The scent notes are lemon, Basil, I want to say rosemary, patchouli, oak moss, and sandalwood. So obviously the basil and the rosemary, those are very classic spices. The patchouli is a fairly strong classic spice as well. The sandalwood is, you know, just a perennial base note amongst shave soap fragrances. Also very classic. Then oak moss and lemon. On the face, I would put the Strength at a low medium, maybe around a four, maybe a medium at a five. Not overly strong, but strong enough that I can smell it. And I would say definitely spicy and powdery. I'm not getting sweet from it so far. But certainly classic barbershop. The base is performing as good as ever. Very, very slick. Very smooth and enjoyable. Lots of residual slickness here when I go back over certain areas. Just never have a problem with Noble Otter and their base. I will say the AL13 is different. It's different for a number of reasons. Number one, the cap angle is very steep. I might even say steeper than a standard 30. And I'm coming off of a very long stint of using my own razor, the Dracon, which has a shallow angle at 24 degrees. So this very steep angle is taking a tiny bit of getting used to. More than that though, um, it's very light. Being an aluminum razor. And so, you know, with a stainless steel razor, or a brass razor, which has some heft to it, some weight, you don't really need to press down on the razor to make it do the work. You just let the weight do the work. But with aluminum razors in general, which are very light, I, th I didn't weigh this one, but I would venture a guess that it's under 50 grams, probably around the 45, maybe even 40 gram mark. Um, you do need to press down in order to get it to cut. Now, I want to say, 
while lathering in between recordings here, the leather, or not leather, the lemon did really come forward on the soap this time around. So that's just an interesting note how that happened. I wasn't picking up the lemon very much at all. And then I went and did a second lathering for my second pass. And then it really came forward and, you know, even more so than some of the spicier notes. Okay, now back to this Henson AL13 Aggressive. So for those of you who um, may not be familiar with Henson or didn't catch my unboxing of this razor, there's a very interesting story behind it. So Henson, they are a Canadian company, uh, not too far from here actually, I think, I think they might be based out of Cambridge, Ontario, which is very close to uh, Toronto, maybe an hour and a half drive away. And they specialized, uh, they, they're a machine shop that specialized in doing contracts in Canada's aerospace sector. And then around COVID, about you know two years ago in 2020, I guess they lost some contracts or were having trouble finding contracts. And so it seems the machine shop itself was maybe um, in a little bit of trouble, you know, financially. And so they got together, I guess they're brothers. Um, one of them is in e-commerce and marketing and kind of consumer psychology and basically understanding how to make a product and sell a product. And the other two were the ones owning and running the machine shop. And so the way it came about was that they got together and they were looking for a product to make, which is very interesting because it's very different than the way a lot of uh, razor makers make razors. Like myself, for instance, I came by it um, by first finding wet shaving and getting into wet shaving. And then deciding that, you know, after getting into it that I wanted to try to make a razor. But basically, as I understand it, Henson, you know, they're not wet shavers. Uh, they were never wet shavers. They weren't hobbyists or enthusiasts. Um, They're just innovators and engineers who wanted to make uh, improve upon a product. And they saw uh, traditional shaving as an opportunity to do that. And so they applied their product design and testing knowledge and skills and their aerospace engineering skills, and they redesigned and reinvented a razor. The other thing that's interesting about them is that they're not, you know, they're very outspoken about the fact that they're not trying to make a hobbyist razor for enthusiasts or hobbyists. So, you know, they're not trying to make a razor that is going to appeal to the shade parameters of um, a collector or a hobbyist or an enthusiast. They are trying to make uh, more of an entry level razor that solves what they perceive to be as pain points or barriers to entry into wet shaving and traditional shaving. Um, namely, you know, the apprehensions that a lot of people have about safety razors and just the learning curve involved in the mastery of a safety razor. And for that reason, uh, they deliberately tried to design a razor that is, you know, in their words, kind of without the learning curve or foolproof. Which uh, brings us about to finally getting to the story of this razor, the AL13 Aggressive. So um, I can't remember his name, but the, the founder and CEO of Henson
he was on the Lather Talk podcast with John Latherhog, and he was talking about the razor. And evidently there, you know, there was a titanium version of the razor that came in um, a more aggressive format because obviously as an entry level version, the standard Henson is very mild. It's known to be, you know, a very easy, very mild, less kind of efficient or aggressive razor. And so while that might appeal to people who've never wet shaved before, as you well know, more experienced wet shavers, they tend to like something with a little bit more aggression and a little bit more blade forward kind of feeling. Speaking of which, I dinged myself pretty good on the Adam's apple there. Um, I think I was lulled into a, a false sense of security by this Henson razor for precisely that reason, kind of that knowledge that um, the Henson is known to be a very, very mild razor. Evidently the aggressive, not so much. So in any case, um, Long story short, hobbyists were kind of complaining a little bit that the Henson razor was only available in titanium for the aggressive version. And they're calling it sort of the hobbyist tax because obviously titanium is much more expensive. The aluminum razor retails for about $70 US, uh, $90 Canadian. I don't even know how much the titanium was, but titanium, right? So. Um, so they're calling it the kind of the hobbyist tax or enthusiast tax and kind of asking if Henson would be open to making an aggressive version of the aluminum razor. And right there on the podcast, um, he basically said, you know, we wouldn't be close to it. We wouldn't make it part of our like regular everyday offering because we wouldn't want to muddy the brand image by, you know, having a, a lay person pick it up and end up hurting themselves or something. But if there was enough interest with the hobbyist community, then they would be open to doing a special run. And so John Latherhog went ahead and created a sign-up sheet. And I think they got about 150 signups and that was enough for Henson to put in a special run of more aggressive versions of their aluminum razor. And so this razor that I'm holding in my hand right now is one of those. It's basically the aluminum Henson for hobbyists. But because of the fact that, you know, Henson's whole marketing is based around lowering that barrier to entry, I don't have a lot of statistics on the razor. I don't know the blade gap. I don't know the exposure. Um, I don't know anything about it apart from the fact that it's got a steeper angle. It's aluminum, so therefore lighter and uh, evidently more aggressive than their standard offering. All right, let's use that Barbar bar Splash and then we'll talk about the impressions. Clear on the pour. Hmm, nice medium level of alcohol sting. Not very alcohol forward on the fragrance. Kind of dissipates really quickly on the skin and gives a nice post feel. Really nicely blended fragrance on the splash. I think I'm getting all of those scent notes in the splash. It's drifting between the lemon, patchouli, basil, rosemary, and the sandalwood. Yeah, it's a very nice, mm. yeah, really the lemon comes through kind of sweet in the top and then it just drifts into the spice and the, the sandalwood. I think this is gonna be a really big hit, especially with that, with that splash afterwards. Okay, so yeah, uh, you know, noble otter base, always, always, always a hit. The soap fragrance was uh, nice right in that kind of middle range. So not too, too mild, maybe a little bit milder than I like, but not too mild that um, I would complain about it. The fragrance is very interesting. Uh, the spicier notes take over most of the time, but then when I'm kind of lathering it up in the bowl or like reapplying it to the face, 
the lemon comes forward a little bit. And uh, yeah, just overall very nice experience. The splash really, really rounds it out and the, the splash is stronger in the scent strength and um, just a very well blended sort of barbershop, classic barbershop fragrance. Okay, so now the um, Henson AL13 Aggressive. Um, you know, I wouldn't exactly call it aggressive. It was a new experience for me. It was interesting. I think it's gonna take some getting used to. I probably need a few runs with it before I get the handle uh, on it. You know, the um, sort of the proprietary shave angle, which is a lot more vertical. You know, the, the Dracant is definitely a lot more out here and I'm kind of more used to that now. And then a standard shave angle is kind of in the middle and I feel like the Henson is almost vertical. So just a lot of getting used to there uh, with all of these different angles, especially around some of the protrudy bits like the Adam's apple or the chin, uh, you know, going against the grain over the chin was a challenge. And uh, definitely a lot of buffing would be needed here to get to what I would call a more sort of efficient shave. Definitely some blade feel. Um, I could tell the blade was there and it was useful in helping me find the blade angle. Um, although, you know, for an enthusiast, I would hardly call this aggressive. This feels like a lot of the medium kind of aggressive razors that I'm used to in terms of the level of blade feel. I might compare it to like a, a Yates 91 or even Alpha Outlaw, um, maybe even less so than those. And those are like very medium aggressive razors, not aggressive at all. So I would definitely hardly call it aggressive. I think the Nasset blade in here performed well. I might try it with some different blades and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, just the lightweight, having to press, having to find the angle and everything, it's definitely gonna take some getting used to, but uh, with four or five days growth, it was a very admirable first outing. Uh, I've never been a fan of this handle in terms of appearance, but I gotta say the grip feels very nice. There's a little bit of slippery danger in there uh, because there are some slippery gaps and then some knurled gaps and then slippery gaps again, but it just feels very cool and very nice in the hand. Uh, but it does feel like there's some danger here compared to some of my heavier razors, especially. Uh, I will say the fit and finish is very, very nice on it. It assembled really, really nicely. Uh, that blade just gets locked right in and held perfectly in place. Um, some beautiful machine marks on it too. It almost looks like a machine finish aluminum, which I'm not used to. And so you can really see the precision and the machine marks when you're assembling it. Uh, it's got a little Henson kind of embossed logo on the side too. So just, you know, a, a very beautiful looking razor, very nice fit and finish on it. Um, and it performed rather admirably for a first outing, I would say. So that's it for my takeaways. Thank you all for watching. Uh, hit the like button, please. If you liked anything that I said in this video, if you're new to the channel or whatever, please consider subscribing. And uh, thanks for coming out. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.